Masters of Time is a fully fledged large scale ROM hack of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I'm still pronouncing it Ocarina, please don't yell at me. This video is less of a full scale review owing to the fact that this is a massive game. It is very impressive in its size, scale, and detail, but due to time constraints this will be more of a first impressions type deal. But in the future I will probably do a full review when I can actually finish the game. I think Masters of Time is the first Ocarina hack I've played that is comparable in size and scope to the original. Don't get me wrong, the Ocarina hacks I've already played are spectacular, but they were relatively small. In the case of this game, however, I've already put 7 hours into it. I could have stopped at 4 and had more than enough footage for this shorter video, but it's just such a cool hack that I couldn't put it down. It's a whole new Zelda adventure, and I'm always down to see what it's gonna throw at me next. I mean, obviously the mechanics are derivative of the source material, but seeing these fully realized and detailed landscapes brought to life, in addition to all the new challenges the game throws my way, is very engaging. It's like I'm back at home playing Ocarina of Time 2 slash Majora's Mask the Squeak Wool. Yeah, that's what this hack should have been called. The pacing feels a little closer to the original Zelda on NES, largely because Navi isn't telling you exactly where to go every two seconds, and the map is more open and I found myself just enjoying getting lost in these huge landscapes before even figuring out where I was really supposed to be going. The new world of this hack is very captivating. A lot of this is owed to funny dialogue, sweet atmospheric details, and kick-ass music, a lot of which I don't recognize, but some of which I do. This game can actually be a little challenging at times. It's not a death march, but I'd say it's definitely harder than the original. You'll be fighting Stalfos and Iron Knuckles before you can even find enough heart containers to upgrade your health in any substantial way. Oh yeah, this game has a billion heart containers and gold sculptulas all over the place. So, there is plenty of side content to keep you happy. The game also has an interesting plot, but I don't want to spoil too much of that right now. Bottom line, this hack kicks ass, I recommend it, link in description, blah blah blah, this concludes day 6, Merry Christmas.